Stedman Graham, who's going to come out here in a sec. He is the founder of a program called Identity Development. So without further ado, Stedman. It's not how the world defines you. It's about how you define the world. There's this belief that the circumstances of your life determine how Absolutely, you feel. Yeah. And the circumstances of your life determine your identity for you. And what Stedman teaches the kids is that you define your identity. Most important question anybody will ever ask you is this question. Do you know who you are? And so what we're trying to do is give them the tools to show them how to be more of themselves. You know, in the beginning, he'll come up and say, who are you? Right. And the person will have one answer, right? And at the end of the day, the perspective is so much broader. We learn so much about how to love our lives. You can't love your students until you first really love yourself. <gasps> I get one free. You know, everyone is equal because everyone has 24 hours. What's the question? How you organize your 24 hours? Stedman does a fabulous job of being able to motivate not only the students but also our parents just to reflect upon how we're leading our lives and what our priorities are. The question is always, how do you see yourself? You got two choices in life. You got happy or sad. You can only have one feeling at a time. Instead of fitting in, people should embrace what they have, what they can do. You're touching these kids' lives for that one instance, that one day, but it's going to stay with them. Listen to the voice of your own heart, because it doesn't speak in words and it doesn't speak in rules, it speaks in positive emotion. This is what we want all of our kids to be able to do, to be able to find the passion within them. It meant the world to them. I, I'm seeing them blossom like you wouldn't believe. What our world needs is more people who have come alive and more people who are following their hearts. That's so how you it makes you, the world. makes you happy. Yeah. They're never going to forget that feeling when their heart was touched. 